Andrew Coke here, and we're doing an episode on Terror. Dr. Terror is in town today, and we've got this episode is going to be about Terror Stage 1 through 5. So I boosted my resource reward, which is something I try to always do if I have the powder, because that is a big bonus, especially if you can get to the later stages and you have a good uh, resource reward masterpiece. It can be a huge bonus to your production of resources. So here's stage one. I've got 54 gunboat energy, nothing special, and I usually don't boost it. So, um, but it is enough to take out the, the outpost headquarters without deploying any troops. And I think the headquarter had 26,000 health. So if you're a level, low level, uh, I'm not sure exactly what's level you can start Dr. Terra, but probably around level uh, 12 or 13 I think you have to take out uh, the first Dr. Terra base which I think you can do probably around level 10 depending on uh, what you uncover and uh, let me speed this up because we are just swapping out some idols and uh, guardians because I have two spots that are available for masterpieces that I'm trying to fill that and I want a troop damage and possibly a uh, either a stone product masterpiece or uh, like a masterpiece for power stones so Terra Stage 2 we've got uh, some easy stuff, just letting the troops run wild. There's only two uh, towers there. I think if you had a rifleman, Zuka would take out the that one boom cannon. You could flare up to the right and avoid the machine gun if you uh, had low-level troops. So, uh, Terror Stage 3 is coming up. We've got a beefy looking rocket launcher. So I suppose you would want to have a heavy Zooka or a tank combo for that. And I guess you need to take out, uh, if you got the bungo gumbo energy, take out that rocket launcher first. Since it's right next to the right next to the headquarters I usually just barrage the headquarters and it takes out anything connected to the headquarters there's some intel typically I earn approximately 10 intel a week just doing Dr. Terror twice a week oh, let's speed this up again we are still looking for a just swapping out stones. Okay. We've got a uh, low level cannon there. I always take out the cannons and the boom cannons. Possibly the boom mines just because they do quite a bit of damage to tanks. Even though they don't do double damage, they still do a lot of DPS even at low level. Uh, so it's always good to just be safe, take them out. And I'm running the Grenadier tank, you know. The problem I have with Grenadiers is they they die so easily. So the later stages you just have to be careful about deploying your grenadiers, deploy them well after you deploy the tanks and medics. And Terror Stage five. You know, grenadiers are great because they do outrange the cannons and flamethrowers. The problem is as I do notice, especially lately, I, even though well, there's a cannon out close to the beach in front and I deploy the grenadiers, there's a pretty good chance that one of those grenadiers will somehow walk into range of the cannon and get one-shotted. And then you have to wait 15 minutes to retrain uh, a grenadier, and, and it's kind of a, a pain, especially if you're boosting your statues. 
you waste a lot of time that you could be uh, that would actually be very necessary for a later stage well thanks for watching uh, I will try to post uh, some of the later stages this week uh, like 5 through 10 and any of the further stages uh, I usually try to post at least the last stage if I remember to record it because it usually takes me four or five tries sometimes you know wherever whatever stage that I might be on like last week I was stuck on stage 15 for four or five tries and then on the final try that I that I finished I for forgot to record it so that happens but uh, we will Talk to you later.